Hi Pisces, and welcome to September 2022. This read is for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. I hope you guys are doing great. Let's see what's going on for the beautiful Pisces. Okay. All right. Let's talk. We'll pull three cards and let's keep going. Look at you came out in your own reading. I love it. You're definitely in charge of what's happening around you. You're feeling good about what's happening around you. Okay, we have Temperance, the Six of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords. So you have, and it's all about patience. It's all about patience and balancing. What are you balancing? Is it your financial, financially you're balancing, you're balancing, you're getting, you're now at a point, Pisces, where spirit's saying, let's, let's really figure out how to balance what we've learned about how we spend, how we look at sp the spending, where we need to be more either, right? It's one or the other. We need to balance out how we think and feel about our money, right? How you spend it, how you apply what you've learned in terms of, right? Spirit is watching, you have you have, an, you know, you definitely have angels watching over you. This could be also relating to Pisces moon. You have two moons. You also have here new moon and full moon. So that's why I'm saying, Pisces, some of you are, the lessons that you've learned is now a new experience of learning how to balance, you know, not a checkbook. I mean, for some it could be, but I feel it's more, how do I balance my bills where what's coming in is going and what's going out is, is meshing with what I need to know. How cyclical money is and also seeing money as your friend, not your foe, right? Dealing with our finances in a way that you can see that here where we're, the sun is setting and here it looks to me in this depiction right now, the sun is setting but in also rising. We do have the differences of, see, you know, the yin and yang, fire and water, right? So the clashing of this is what you're learning, what you've learned, and what you are going to be learning if it isn't something that you've already been dealing with for a minute is the money coming in and money going out, right? How we are, how we have gotten to this point, right? On the scale of balance, you have two sixes, right? Spirit is teaching you the valuable lessons with regard to this, right? And what is what we've learned and who has taught us over time again and again not to not to think that it's not going to happen to you right thinking oh yeah everything's going to be fine and then suddenly you're like wait a second right wait a second this happened and i don't want to get back into this situation again some of you are taking out, you know, a loan or a mortgage, a second mortgage, so that you can fulfill your obligations financially 
and set the court, set yourself on a good course, a new course, right? Let's get some cards here for Pisces in September. And it's a really good thing that you're doing. For those of you, this is a general reading. You know it's not going to apply to every Piscean. But it's a good, it's an experience, right? Look, I'm happy I'm doing this. I'm happy that I finally got everything in, in you know, in line. I'm making sure everything's fair and just and also... I'm doing this so that I don't have this internal struggle all the time. I'm starting a whole new, brand new thought process about how I envision my, my life, right? My, the, your life in color where you're not struggling, where you're not like having that breaking apart because you've been there before. So you've been here before where you're too generous, where you're too kind, where you're like, well, I'm just going to go for it and then worry about it later. Your heart speaks, you know, like, listen, Pisces, you guys have one of the biggest hearts. Generosity is, is your trait. It's a superpower but it can get you in trouble, right? Where we have to learn how to manage. And that's what you're doing to start all over again. You're doing that and you're proud of yourself because that's what you did. You walked away from the Ten of Swords and you had the Ten of Swords twice. This is massive. The Ten of Swords twice. Let's look. And the balance is, I mean, the Six of, look. Six of Cups is about the balancing of, of how you utilize your money, how you utilize your time, what you've learned in the, you know, from this experience, you know, where you've been like, I don't want to go through this again. Look at this. Look at this. Total opposite. So you had, you, you've you been in this, oh my God, everything's really great. Oh, wait a second. Did I, did I, you know, um, accum have I accumulated too much? Did I spend too much? How do I feel about that, right? And and this is totally, well, everything is great. And then you're like, wait a second. The last, you know, maybe four months has been like off the chain spending. And then you're like, whoa, I'm back here again? You have two ten of swords. I mean, for some of you, it could be internal conflict with, I, I, I'm going to say it. This is an internal conflict of self. This is self-awareness. This is why this is here. Hold on. This is why this came out twice. Because you've been here before. And that's why you can see that. You can see that you've been, right? You've been to this place where did you learn the lessons well now it looks like you're putting yourself back together again and happy that you can do that right in terms of not getting I mean some of you I'm we're not gonna lie right some of you have have extended yourself because others are like oh can I you know can I it's like the beggar and the thief right who's begging and who's the thief right this guy's mischievous look so yeah it could be a child being mischievous and 
you know, puts on a really good face, good act. And the next thing you know, you're back in, in the same predicament, right? Then, then you have been in the past, right? You don't get two Ten of Swords for no reason, okay? But look it. You, you're, this is victory. This is like, look, I figured it out. Masculine and feminine. Masculine, feminine. So you figured it out. You've learned, right, that what really, really needs to happen, again, mas masculine, feminine, in the middle of all of this is the fact that you've learned. And that's what to celebrate. It is a celebration of learning that, you know, your kindness can be, you know, can be a detriment. And we need to make sure we balance, whether it's our, our finances or we balance our time. And we, no, we need to know that it takes a lot of patience, right? So be patient with yourself because you're on your way to this massive victory of, I figured it out, I'm good. And more importantly, I don't want to do it again. I don't want to be in this predicament again. Mm, seriously. Let's get one card for each. One card. It was the Two of Pentacles and the Devil Reversed. So the choice that you've made is not to attach yourself too closely. One here. Too closely to. Right? Do not. Do not be absorbed, controlled by what you do or don't have. This was, right, shopaholics, spending too much, giving too much of your time and or kindness to others where it, it was taken for granted. Taken for granted. Right? Too kind. Well, I gave all my time to that person, and now what do I have? I have to go back to the drawing board. I have to start over because of this. Right? So this makes sense. Yes, a play on words. It just came out that way. So let's let's just for the heck of it. Let's get something on the devil. Let's get a card on the devil and the page one more time. Look at that. Seven of Swords. That's exactly what happened. Someone took total advantage of your kindness. Talked you into, you know, talk, talked you into... Helping all the time. You guys are always helping others all the time. My sister's a Pisces. And this totally applies. And I'm telling you, look. So that had to end. The spending, the spending, the conniving, the manipulation of the Seven of Swords is this, this, this guy right here it's not a joke it's like here you know i gotta i you know i don't okay i heard it so i'm gonna say it let me sell you a bill of goods i heard it right your kindness got taken for granted and you know there's been a lot of waste what is it waste not want not kind of situation where now you figured it out and you're not going to go back to that situation again where you get into this, you know, the situation where how much is how much is coming in and how much are you giving out too much of your money, time, your energy, someone taking advantage full advantage. Okay? 
So I did that to clarify more of the storyline because for those of you who this does apply to, this that's what has to end. This manipulation of, you know, and it's done, you know, it's not malicious. It's just, I can, if I can get away with it, I'm going to do it. What's, what's the harm in asking again? Because I need, I need, I want, I have to have more, more, more. Okay. So that's when you get to like the reality hits. And that's what I feel has happened. The reality, you have such a big heart. Look, I mean, this isn't a joke. This is, this is what's been tugging at you. Look at this. You're being pulled in all these directions because people are trying to take advantage of your kindness. I'm not joking. You're always the person who... Not, okay, now it's, it's a general reading, but most Pisces that I know have the hugest heart, want to give whatever they can, and if they have to, they'll start all over again. But this is a, a recurring theme. And we don't want recurring themes anymore. And when they stop being recurring, we start learning our lesson. And we're proud of ourselves for being able to take a minute and say, you know what? I have to say, no, not today. I can't do that. Or I'm not able to do that right now. Or you know what? It's time for you guys to figure it out. Right? Family members, friends that take advantage of your good, your good heart, your huge heart. So now it feels good to say what? No. It gives you the power. That's why you have the full card there. It gives you the power of, of your resolve. Right? And you're learning. You have been learning. The oracle is that you now are making the right connections. That you've had, you have sacrificed Pisces enough. Enough. You have, you have now grown, you have learned, and now this is also by, by you standing your ground and doing things differently now, it's making not only the right connections, but also your, your sacrifice has not been, has not been, you know, it's been noted in the spirit world. Right? So you're now growing and you're expanding your knowledge, your basis for how things that you do from the heart, you know, sometimes, you know, the hard, the hard knocks of life teaching others the same value instead of enabling, you're now teaching yourself, but also your whatever, whomever those five of wands are, your kids, your, your peeps, right? To stop asking for help. And now your sacrifice did not go unnoticed. And now you're able to be positive and find your, your strength. And you understand now how it is going to help you, right? So you you just yielded. You're yielding to the fact that you take a minute for yourself and say, you know what? I can either do this or I, or I can't. But the more that you've been taking control of your own stability 
finances, strength of resolve and time that you put into anything. This could even mean a job where you have, right, a younger boss who's saying, oh my God, I really need you to come in today. And you're like, well, you don't pay me enough to come in today, you know, and I need to balance that out. A lot of people are finding that to be really true, right, Pisces? So it, now you're teaching people that you're setting boundaries for yourself and that's giving you the strength to be who you really need to be and not be the sacrificial lamb. Okay? I love you guys. Have a great month and I'll talk to you next month. Take care.